in this module we would be studying higher purchase which is another example of ijara higher purchase is actually an ijara contract which ends with the ownership of the asset held by the lessee in arabic this is also called ijara muntahiya bitamlik ijara means lease muntahiya which ends with tamlik with ownership this form of uh, ijara as i said ends up with the lessee becoming the owner of the leased asset how does this happen the lessor would lease something to a lessee with this understanding that at the end of the lease period the lessee would own that asset this happens when the rental in case of ijara muntahiya bitamlik is determined in such a way that the rental has two components one is the actual rent and the other component is the price of the asset so every month the lessee would be paying rental partly rent and partly the small proportion of the price of the asset in such a way that over the lease period the lessee would have paid the agreed price of the leased asset once that happens the lease period ends and the lessee becomes the owner of the asset and because the lessee becomes the owner of the asset there is no need to continue to lease that asset after all lessee to malik ban chuka hota hai there are certain important considerations uh, in case of higher purchase first thing the lessor must remain the owner of the leased asset during the lease period before the end of the lease period the lessor is actually the owner okay and this is the this is a requirement that the lessor must be considered as the owner of the leased asset during that time period so that if something happens to the asset during the lease period the lessor must be responsible for that one if for any reason the leased asset perishes leased asset kharab ho jata hai leased asset destroy ho jata hai during the lease period and during this period the lessee has actually paid monthly rental remember the monthly rental had two components the rent as well as the price component if the leased asset perishes during that period or even at the end of the period just before the ownership is transferred then unfortunately the lessor will have pay back the price component of the rental to the lessee because as we said in the point 1 during the lease period the lessor is actually the owner of the asset and if it perishes the loss would be borne by the owner not by the lessee of course if the leased asset perishes and this is because of the negligence of the lessee in that case the lessee would be held responsible for the loss and uh, the loss would be recovered from the lessee this is actually uh, a case of a financial lease if certain accounting principles are observed so this form of ijara may be considered as financial lease and this is something which a lot of islamic banks and other financial institutions 
are uh, practicing as uh, one of their major activities. Car financing, for example, offered by Islamic banks is based on higher purchase. In some cases, even home financing is based on a principle which is similar to higher purchase. It may be given some other names in various jurisdictions, but in terms of procedures and protocols, even home financing offered by Islamic banks is very similar to the concept of higher purchase. Higher purchase, as I said in the beginning, Islamic higher purchase, this is a major activity practiced by not only Islamic banks, but by some specialized Islamic financial institutions, especially Ijara companies. In a number of countries, Ijara companies exist as an Islamic financial institution offering this kind of financing.